State reopened because that testing rate had been dropping. So will an increase cause us to roll back? As WBC's Anna Ritas Rodriguez shows us, maybe not. You're seeing the number of cases increase as well as our positive test rate. And we've seen a number of clusters over the past few weeks. State officials urging residents remain vigilant to avoid a resurgence. We have the ability in Massachusetts because we've demonstrated that ability to drive it down. Here's a look back at the dashboard. On May 18th, the weekly average of positive tests was 9.7%. By mid July, that number dipped as low as 1.7%. It has since been slowly creeping back up. Hospitalizations lag behind cases and deaths lag behind hospitalizations. Tufts epidemiologist Dr. Shira Darone. The governor feels that it's not the reopening that's causing the rise, uh, that it's individual behavior, events, super spreader events. Last week, state officials identified at least eight coronavirus clusters in Massachusetts, one gathering almost four times bigger than the state limit for indoor spaces. Dr. Darone says meeting in large groups drives the spread. We are not allowed to congregate together in close quarters without our faces being covered. Um, we should not do that. She says we should also be selective about travel. At this time, with our numbers being so good here in Massachusetts, we really have to think twice, three times, and four times before traveling to an area with widespread transmission of the virus. And keep our guard up as we inch closer to a new normal. I'm Anna Redis Rodriguez, WBZ News.